Hello everyone. I hope you all had a fantastic holiday season. I did. We spent Christmas here at the house, just me, husband, and the children. Um, they of course got spoiled, and so did my husband, and so did I for that matter. Um, I'm going to share with you real quick uh, what he got me, or one of the things, a couple of the things he's got me. He got me this picture by Nene Thomas. Um, I'm sorry I can't flip it around the other way. It's um, it's an 8 by 10 picture and it doesn't quite fit in the frame of the camera. But here you get to see the whole thing. And this one is called... Oh, sorry. I had it up here on my iPad and then my iPad just fell asleep. Um, Memento. So this one's Memento. And then this one is goth, goth uh, gothic princess, I believe. Let me just double check real quick for you. And these are both done by Nene Thomas, and they're 8 by 10s um, I love her work. It's just, yes, gothic princess. It's just, it's amazing stuff. Um, I have one here in my craft room. I have two out in the living room. I also have... Four Amy Brown pictures, two in the living room, one in here, and then one upstairs in our hallway up there. So I really love those paintings. So that's what he got me for Christmas, along with my iPad too. Um, spent New Year's Eve up at my parents' house. Um, so that was about as exciting as it would have been if I'd stayed here. We just watched TV. Yep. We watched TV. I think we might have caught the tail end of the ball drop, like after it dropped, which was kind of... Actually, I'm pretty sure that it was 12.02 when we realized that it was 12 o'clock. So, the kids the kids did get to stay up. Um, actually, my nephew and my girls were all upstairs watching a movie, and about five minutes to midnight, they started acting up like we just... He was telling them to be quiet, and they were arguing back, so it was like, okay, that's the sign. They're getting tired and cranky. We're going to go ahead and put them to bed. And by the time I was done tucking them in, it was midnight, so they did officially stay awake until midnight. And, of course, by the time I came back downstairs, <laughs> you know, that's when my parents realized that it was after midnight. So, you know, a typical New Year's Eve at my parents' house. Um... And that's pretty much what we would have done if I had stayed at my house anyways. <laughs> um, so it took, so we, did, we took the train up to see my parents, and we stayed there for about a week and then came home. And then, um, for me, my New Year's starts when s my oldest goes back to school. Just because, you know, it, it's a two-week break. You know, we've got four or five days, give or take, when school starts back up. Um, you know, extra days in there, and it's hard for me to really get anything accomplished, not to mention if we've decorated the house, I'm then spending those days, you know, undecorating, putting stuff away, all that, and just kind of getting the Christmas out of the house. Because um, it's not hard for me to focus on the new year with Christmas stuff up, but I feel that you know, once it's out of the house, it makes things a lot easier. So for me, New Year's, New Year's goals and stuff like that start as soon as the oldest goes back to school, which didn't happen this time because she was sick, and then I was sick, and then we both recovered on Wednesday. She stayed home again. She missed school Monday. She went to school Tuesday, which turned out to be pushing it a bit. So she got to stay home Wednesday. I was fine Monday, but because she was so sick, I didn't get anything done. And then I was sick on Tuesday and slept like crap. So Wednesday, we both recovered. I was too exhausted to fight with her to go to school, and she said she was tired, and I went, okay, whatever. It's the only time I've ever let her play hooky for not being sick, just okay. But it turned out, in the long run, she needed that day to really get over whatever had happened on Monday. Like I said... Tuesday, even though she had no fever and she felt fine and had breakfast, it seemed to have pushed it. She was just super drained. 
Thursday the 9th was my birthday and I was feeling way better but hubby stayed homesick. <sighs> Friday everyone was better, thankfully. Oldest went to school that day as well. She did go to school on Thursday. Youngest never got sick, keeping fingers crossed. Um, hubby took me on Saturday to go to Craft Warehouse up in Gresham, which is about an hour from my house. And that was after we dropped the kids off at, at a friend's, so we didn't have to drag them with them with us, which was nice. And it was really sweet that my husband was willing to take me craft shopping and, you know, just wander. Well, he had his shopping cart, so he had a weapon. And he had Facebook on his phone, so he was okay. <laughs> he didn't care that I spent hours inside Craft Warehouse just walking around and looking and, you know, really trying to narrow down the stuff I wanted because I did have a small budget but it was very it was still very sweet of him to go because he could have just said here you go have fun goodbye I even let him I even told him he could go to Best Buy if he wanted if he didn't want to go in but he stuck with me so took me out to lunch as well that day and then Sunday we just kind of hung around and then today oldest stayed home because again she had a high fever not exactly sure what is going on but whatever so hopefully she will be in school on Tuesday. But needless to say, that was a crappy start to my New Year's. Everybody else's New Year's usually starts on the 2nd because that's when they're all going back to work and everything. But for me, it's the 6th because I've got one less person in the house and this time, you know. So everything's gotten kind of pushed off. But I figured that I would go ahead and do the very first haul video of 2014. I have um, stuff from Artco, which is a craft store up in Tacoma, Washington. Um, one of the ladies I watch on YouTube had mentioned it was there, and I have lived in Washington for, oh, so, uh, let's see, since the middle of third grade up until um, like five years ago, something like that. Oh, well, almost nine years ago. Yeah, we'll go with eight. Um, so, you know, a good, good long time and never knew that there was an art place in Tacoma. Or I wasn't as into crafting then, but even after I started getting to, into it, like closer to when I was married and stuff, I just didn't know. So. My mom picked us up from the train, and she was nice enough to take me and my girls and my nephew, who had tagged along with her, um, into there. So I got some goodies from there. I got some stuff from Target, as well as Craft Warehouse and Michael's. Um, but first, I want to share with you what I got for my birthday from my son. He sent me this really cute cup, and it's got candy in it, and... It's not bad candy, just never, it's not candy I've ever heard of. But it's this really cute Tinkerbell cup. I really love Tinkerbell. I think she's just fun and just, I don't know. And then it says, all in the sparkle. So I thought that that was a really, really cute cup. So I'm going to keep this in my room here somewhere. And then there's, I don't know if it's easy to see. Let me see. And then there's a little birdie there on the inside. So that was what I got from him for my birthday. And now I'm going to go ahead and start with the stuff from, well, Target. Because it's the smallest bag at the moment. So please forgive me for all the crinkling. I had to keep everything kind of set aside. Um, as I sort of cleaned the room. But I didn't want to put anything away until I did this video. And then with it coming up to my birthday, I didn't want to do the video and then have to redo it. So everything's still in the bag. So at Target when I was, where was I? I was up at my parents. I had gone to Target for something else. And I went ahead and I picked up this heart punch. And it's just the medium, um, a medium punch, EK Tools. And it's just the heart. And I thought that would be really cute for Valentine's Day. Not to mention I loved all these little flowers right there. So I went ahead and picked that up. 
And then I also picked up this pad of paper. I am hoping to do a Valentine's Day series. Um, I'm just, I'm limited on anything Valentine's Day. I, like, I have lots of images and, uh, and some paper, but I don't have any real, like, Valentine's Day sentiments. And, um... Lawn Fawn has come out with some really cute ones that I'm hoping to get. So I'm hoping here in the next, I don't know, couple of weeks, I can get that stuff in and then, um, you know, get started on my stuff. But, oh, the only problem with these little books is that all the little plastic sticky stuff sticks to it. Okay. All right, so I picked this up from Target as well. And this is the... Valentine, St. Valentine uh, paper pad by um, American Crafts. And I left some of the plastic on here, sorry. Ugh. Makes the size of the paper sticky. And I just thought it was really, really cute. I really liked all of the paper in here. I thought that was really pretty too. And I love the extra little bits they give you. And it's all single sided. But you get two sheets of each. And this one has got just a whole bunch of like typewriter type writing. You know, so sweet, love you, be mine, adorable, I love you more, you make me smile just for you, simply wonderful. And then it just kind of repeats over and over again. I thought that was really cute too. So I thought just some fun fun paper. Um, you know, and then I looked at a few of these like this one. It's not quite Valentine's Day Valentine's, but I guess I know I said that twice. Um, but I thought it would be really cute. I mean, even this one for just regular cards. So went ahead and picked that one up and they only had one otherwise I would have picked up two and I like this one as well I just I'm not sure what to do with that one yet so that was Target and then hold on a second I purposely run out of space I don't have anywhere to put other stuff let me move some things there we go okay and now we're gonna save the Artco one for last because it's the biggest and then this was Michael's, and this was part of my birthday money. Well, what was left over from the craft the money that I got from Craft Warehouse. Um, but I also used my gift card that my mom gave me. And I just picked up some punches. Ooh, I even had money in the bag, and I forgot about it. <laughs> Don't you love it when you like do laundry, or you're walking down the street and you find money? I remember once I was with my parents and we went to my aunt's house and I was the last one to walk up to the door and I picked up the only $20 bill on the ground that nobody else noticed and I noticed it before my dad even walked up to it so nobody else bothered to see this $20 bill lying on the ground. I, it was a great day that day but you know anyways so I picked up this um, Martha Stewart punch and it's a scallop heart trim. And I went back and forth on this one because I thought, oh, do I really need it? Is it something I really want? I had a couple of heart punches already, but I really like the way this one looks. So I thought, well, I will go ahead and get it anyways. So I'm going to take it out here. Oh. And then I'm just going to punch it on the, on the box flap here so you can see what it looks like. And I like, I love getting punches with stuff like this because then you end up with all the little pieces inside. So, let me just, oh. And line it up. If I thought about it, I would have taken it out of the box sooner, but. Oh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead. Besides, I like doing, when I do the boxes like this, I think it gives me a nice little template so that I can, you know, use it. So that's 
what it looks like when it's all punched out and then see you've got all these little heart bits. I'm not keeping these ones. I will keep this because I can sponge it and it's a nice sturdy thick um, stencil. But if I was doing this out of paper then I would keep all the little hearts. So that's this punch. And then I also got, I won't take these ones out, I've been meaning to get a scalloped punch for just ever. So I went ahead and I picked up the EK Tools Edge Punch, and this is the scalloped scallop. So I, I don't know if you can... Yeah, so it's got little tiny... I'll take it out and show you. It's got little tiny... Um... I was going to try and make this a short video, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, it's got tiny little... There, you might be able to see that better. Little scallops on the scallops. I thought that was really cute. A nice, subtle, you know, um, punch. Or a nice scalloped edge. And then I don't have to always take out the dies, but I do plan to get a couple of regular scalloped dies. Just... And then I have this um, sweetheart chain, and this has got a picture on it of what it does, and I thought it was just really cute, and I thought it would be, even though I have that one and the other one, I thought this would just be nice to kind of change it up on the cards a bit. Hold on, I'm going to put it back, otherwise I will forget which one this is. I like to, I don't label my punches, although I probably should start. Um... But I do like to keep an inventory of not only in a book that I carry with me, but then in the binder that I keep near my desk. Okay, so that was Michael's. And now the craft warehouse. It's a pretty big haul too, but not as big as the other one. Just bigger stuff. So I have this, I am joining a um a hop. Sorry, there's glitter all over the inside of my bag. And I think it's just from the other stuff that we're done. Um, I decided that I was going to do a hop. And it's not a hop. It's a a Valentine's like bag swap. Um, ooh, which reminds me I have to check to see if I got the information. Um, so I needed um, a specific size bag. Well, I didn't have to get this specific size bag. But I figured I was there and it was four for a dollar. So I just picked up four of these little white bags for the swap. And then I also got two of the Doodlebug Sweetheart 6x6 paper pads. Um, I thought they were just really, really cute. And um, I probably didn't need to pick up two, but... Um, I, just, I really liked it. I just thought they were really cute. So I went ahead and picked two of these up. You get like two of each in there. Um, so, but I like this one. This one is really cute and I thought this would even be cute on like a baby card. So I was thinking ahead when I got the two, two of them. So that's a pad. And then I also got, oh, stop falling off my table. I went ahead and picked up an extra thing of scissors and this was on sale. So I think it was just a little bit cheaper than the regular price scissors at like Michael's for the same brand. Um, but I didn't have to use, you know, I obviously didn't use a coupon or anything. And this is just the EK Tools Cuddle B, Cutter Bug, Cuddle, Cut, Cutter B scissors. Um, like, I, these are the ones that I usually use, but they aren't a very fine tip. And these ones are a much, a much thinner tip. So, I'll we'll be getting into some of those smaller spots a little bit easier. So, these would be, like, the ones I use to fussy cut and then they got they come with a little cover Ooh, there we go so that will come in handy 
and I don't need to keep that packaging. And I've been considering getting them for quite a while. And then I also picked up this um, embossing folder set, and it comes with this heart embossing folder, and then this love embossing folder, and I thought those would be really cute for Christmas, or huh, for Valentine's Day cards as well. And then I got this huge punch, and it's just the large punch, but I got, they had a regular heart, and then they had this one, and I wanted to get this one with this little heart in there, because I think I have some heart gems that would fit right there perfectly if I wanted to, but I thought it was just so much cuter than the other one. And they were both the same price, so really wasn't a super huge deal, but it's a nice big chunky heart punch, and then I thought it would go great with the smaller one that I got too. I went ahead and picked up the other, I think these are the only two size stamping blocks that I didn't have from Lawn Fawn, so I went ahead and picked those up as well. I made really sure that I stayed within my, my hubby gave me like $100, so I wanted to make sure that I stayed within the $100, and I did really good. I actually ended up with like $26 left over, so, um, well, after Michael's, I had like three bucks, but you know, just leaving Craft Warehouse. And then they had the section um, with stamp with a whole bunch of stamps in it that were two for three dollars. So I looked through, and this is the first one I saw, and it's got glitter all over it. <laughs> and this one says, "You'll always be my best friend. You know too much." And it is by Inka Dinka Do. But it does not have, like, a specific name. Now, I don't really care so much for this bear. Um, because when I thought about it, I thought about my friend Ashley. And she knows quite a bit about me. <laughs> um, just because, you know, she is one of my very best friends. Um, so I couldn't pass it up. And then I also got this one that says, My dear, you are truly unforgettable. Which is also by Inka Dinka Do. And again, does not have. It does not have a name on it, which is fine. Not a super big deal. Um, but again, when I saw this one, I thought about her as well. So I went ahead and I picked those two up. And that was it from Craft Warehouse. Um, they did have quite a bit of stuff on clearance, but nothing that really jumped out and said, ooh, ooh, Mimi. Um, but I think I'm going to go back shortly after Valentine's Day and, you know, pick up all the stuff that I didn't get this time around that might be on clearance next time. That's just how I roll. <laughs> okay, now for the last haul, and this is the big one. This is all the stuff that I got at Arco. And this... Oh! Sorry, there's one more. One more before Art Co. I forgot I stuck it in there. I did the Greeting Farms um, Farmer's Market. And I already had these images in digi form, but when they came out in stamps, I knew I wanted them, uh, especially because they came with more. So I picked up the Cake Topper stamp set. I like the digital images uh, because you can resize them. But, um, I sometimes just, I don't, I don't deal with them very much because it can just be kind of a pain to have to, you know, boot up my computer. It is a little bit slow. And then, um, you know, wait for it to print out and all that stuff. And if I don't think about it ahead of time, then I'm sitting here instead of crafting, I'm waiting for all that stuff to do it. And then I usually like to give the ink a little bit of time to dry. It is an inkjet printer um, and I haven't had any problems with it but still I don't like to just dive right in after it's printed up. So I went ahead and picked these up. They're a really good price and you get quite a bit with it. Um, with the digital images you just get this. With this one it comes with congrats, happily ever after, forever, beautiful life, and then a bell and I'm not exactly sure what that is. But I thought that um, it would be really cute for a card, not to mention, you know, my wedding album and stuff like that. So I picked that one up, as well as the Cute Troop 
Um, I don't know any boys that are in any kind of scouts anymore. I used, used to when I was younger. But I also used to be in Girl Scouts as well as my sister. So I have quite a few pictures of me and brownies and stuff like that. So I thought that would be really cute to also um, put in my scrapbook and stuff like that. So, And then this one, again, digital image. Um, but it came with both of these. And then the words uh, respect. Uh, oops. Teamwork and honor, and you don't get that with the digital image. So I picked those up, and those took a little bit. Those I got before before Christmas, just after Christmas, before Christmas, but they didn't show up until after. And I am still waiting for one of my stamps from Simon Says Stamp .com. Um, in my last haul video, I think it was the last one. I noticed that it was missing two stamps, and so I contacted them, and they were going to replace it, but now we're waiting for their manufacturer of the stamp, or for their supply to replenish so that they can send it to me, so I was hoping that had already showed up. Oh, I also had gone to Joann's while I was up there. I put so much stuff in this bag from Artco that I forgot about it, so I did get a chance to go to Joann's while I was up at my parents'. And I picked up a couple of embossing folders. This one is Easter Egg Background. And I picked them up while I was there because I had a couple of dollars cash. And because my luck, my Joann's wouldn't have them here. And then this one is Beach Waves. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. And now, I think... <laughs> Without further ado, I think I'm finally ready to show you the stuff from Art Club. So, I picked up um, another Liquid Pearls, and this is Orchard. Um, and it's just one that I didn't have. So I went ahead and I picked that up. It's just a really pretty purple. I really like the color purple. Just about every shade of purple. And then Artco had quite a bit of their stuff on clearance. Um, especially their Halloween stuff. So I picked up the EK Success Mini Punches, and this is a Skull and Crossbones and a Spider. And then I picked up the um, Medium Pumpkin Punch as well. And then I picked up the this large spider punch. Again, it was on sale, I mean, half off, which is pretty good, or which is really good. Um, so I went ahead and I picked that up as well. And then I picked up the spider punch, and I didn't notice it at the time, but it is a little bit, like, busted, but it punches still really well. I actually have, I punched, oops, I punched it out here. So that's what this punch looks like. And then the cool thing is, is I've done this from an envelope, and it's got one of those, um, you know, can't see through backgrounds. So that's what the back looked like, and I thought that was really cool. So I've been keep, I'm holding on to this for something, but I thought that was really cool too. So that's what that punch looks like. And it's a, just a spider web, and it's a double craft punch. So I got that. I got, I picked up a um, paper pack from Bow Bunny. And I don't usually do Bow Bunnies, just because I've never really seen anything that I particularly liked. But again, this was $5.99, marked down to $2.99. Excuse me, I do have kind of a hard time resisting some clearance things. If I like it and it's on clearance, I get it. Um, I almost bought, at Craft Warehouse, I almost bought a Lawn Fawn die cut, or a Lawn Fawn die, uh, because it was marked down to like a dollar or something, but I couldn't find the stamps that went with it, and I couldn't just hold on to it. <laughs> so, I put it back, but... I thought this one just had some really cool paper, so for Halloween next year. And it's all single-sided. 
but I thought it was just really, really cool paper. Like, I like that one. And you get, and that one was really cool too. This one is what really, really caught my eye. So you get three sheets of each, which is really cool. At the time I didn't know that, now I do, and that's cool. And this is the Fright Delight collection from Bow Bunny. And I'm assuming that this is a this year one, so I got that. And then I also picked up a Bow Bunny, and this, this one was an on-clearance. I just, I really liked some of the paper in it. This was a bow bunny as well and it's um head over heels collection it's part of their head over heels valentine's day collection and they're both six by six paper pads um and i can't i can't i was really hoping that my husband would be able to drive down to pick us up instead of us taking the train so that you know i could go back to the store um made it very difficult to do a whole lot of shopping because I didn't have a car and I didn't want to drag everything back on the train. But at the same time, I was kind of glad he couldn't because I didn't need to spend any more money. Um, but this has some really pretty papers in it as well. I really like this one a lot. But I thought that these were such fun, non-traditional Valentine's Day colors. That, you know, they used to got the really soft pinks and reds and stuff like that. But, you know, the sheets like this one where it's hearts but it's all black. You know, just worked out really cool. And you get three sheets of each as well. So that was really neat. And then I picked up quite a few stamp sets. Um, because I couldn't spend all day in there. And I had my kids and my mom and my nephew and stuff like that. It made it very hard to really look through all the stamps. So I just kind of looked through and, you know, something struck my eye. I dug a little farther, but otherwise I didn't. But I picked up the Paper, smooch paper Smooches um, Notebook Scallop Die. And then I also picked up this um, Be Mine stamp set. I just thought it was really, really cute. And like I said, I didn't have... I have a few Valentine's Day images, but no real sentiments. So I love the Sweetie Pie, Be Mine, I Heart You, Love, Hello Honey, Love. You know, and then all the other stuff in there is really cute, I thought. And then I, they had their um, Christmas stuff on clearance for like 50% off, I believe. So I went ahead and picked up the Making Frosty Friends stamp, sta stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I'm going to get the dies. Um, probably not here soon, but it's definitely before I really go to use these next year. But I just thought, eh, half off, why not? So really cute. So I picked that one up. And then I also went ahead, they had them, and I picked up the Love You Tons stamp set, which is their new stamp set for this um, this year um, that they brought out for Valentine's Day, as well as the die for it. So I went ahead and I picked those up too. And that's it. That's, that is my crazy big haul for... Um, for 14, 2014, um, I can't wait to go back to Artco and really look around. Um, they had a really good selection of stuff. Well, what I saw, they had a good selection. Again, I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time in there. Um, so it was really cool. I've got a lot of goodies to play with, uh, for Valentine's Day. Like I said, I'm hoping... To, to get started on my Valentine's Day um, card series soon. I know I'm going to try and put out a couple of cards minimum. I don't know how many, but I'm going to try. Um, uh, um, like I said, I'm hoping to start soon. I don't know if I'm going to get 14 done, but I know I want to get at least 5 done before Valentine's Day. 
Um, and I'm also hoping in the next week or so I'll be able to buy some more of my Valentine's Day stamps that I wanted. I was hoping that Craft Warehouse would have more, more of the newer Lawn Fawn dies out, but they do not, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, so, you know, I have all that stuff set up and ready to go on my carts for, you know, Simon Says Stamp and CC Designs and all that stuff, um, ready to go. Just have to get the money together. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping to do that. I have another birthday card to make. I probably will not film it either. Uh, just like my mom's. My mom, my kids actually helped make help decide what my mom's card was going to look like. Um, so I didn't, I wasn't worried about filming that. Um, but I am hoping, like I said, to have at least one more haul done before my Valentine's Day cards go up. And yeah, I will also share what I got with the swap if I was entered into it. I'm hoping I hit the deadline correctly or she found my stuff in time. So that's it. So thanks for joining me. I Like I said, I hope you had a fantastic holiday season. And I hope everything works out for you in 2014. I'm hoping for me as well. And we'll see you later. Bye now. Happy crafting.